We are uh, coming into the town of Owego, New York. Very quaint little town here. This is the old courthouse right here. Right straight ahead of us, that's the old courthouse. The town itself was founded in 1797. 1797, mm -hmm. when George Washington was president. I'll take you down here and you can see, you can actually see places where, the, where you tie up your horse and where you can dismount the horse. Yes. It's a courthouse. be a unique experience, I think, <laughs> to eat in a jail, a former jail. Actually, Denise that I introduced you to on Sunday, she and her husband went there for their, her, their anniversary, and she said the food was terrible. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Well, jail food usually is terrible. Well, that's true. Yeah. Biscuits and water. Yeah, yeah, there you These go. These are yeah. actual hitching post. That's a hitching post. Right there. Oh, well, tell me again that they the, would... You would tie your horse up there, and then there's a block there. That's about, what did you say, about eight inches high, and you can mount and dismount your horse so that you're raised up to get on and off your horse when you yeah. tie them up. And this was an old tavern where people would come and stay, and it's now today a B&B. &B. Wow. And breakfast. Parker, 1805 to 1873, Justice Supreme Court. He was a justice in the Supreme Court. Wow. What was his name again? John M. Parker. John M. Parker. I've heard the name. Have you? Mm hmm Father and son both lived here. Wow. Very nice house. Very Coming nice. to you from uh, the uh, city of Owego, New York, uh, and I wanted to uh, just bring this uh, a special presentation to you. This is especially dedicated to my friend Melvin Ferris. Melvin, President Millard Fillmore and uh, Daniel Webster came through here in 1851 on, uh, uh, by railroad, uh, according to uh, uh, some history here. And uh, I thought you would be interested in knowing that Millard Fillmore passed through this very way in which I am now standing. And Webster started to give a speech from the back of the train here in Owego, but the train left before he could finish the speech. <laughs> so he must have been really giving a good riveting speech. But now we're going to uh, uh, take a river walk. That's along the Susquehanna River. Along the Susquehanna River. Village of Owego. Back to you. And this is the Susquehanna River here in Owego, New York. That's right, and Raylene and I are now going on the river walk. side of the bridge as the Susquehanna River continues its journey down or up whichever way I'm not sure which way. It goes down to Chesapeake Bay. That way. Chesapeake that, Bay. That there were a bunch of uh, Native Americans that came upstream here and landed just not too far from here and had the whole clan, all the children and the squaws and the children and dressed in all of their regalia and they came in peace and met very far from here. Yeah. Very interesting. I'm sure that had to be quite a sight. 